Hi, welcome to our daily devotional series entitled Jesus Calling by Sarah Young. Today is Monday, November 9th, and as always, I invite you to hear these words as if Jesus is speaking directly to you. Sit quietly with me, letting all your fears and worries bubble up to the surface of your consciousness. There, in the light of my presence, the bubbles pop and disappear. However, some fears surface over and over again, especially fear of the future. future. You tend to project yourself mentally into the next day, week, month, year, decade and you visualize yourself coping badly in those times. What you are seeing is a false image because it doesn't include me. Those gloomy times that you imagine will not come to pass since my presence will be with you at all times. When a future-oriented worry assails you, capture it and disarm it by suffusing the light of my presence into that mental image. Say to yourself, Jesus will be with me then and there. With his help, I can cope. Then come home to the present moment where you can enjoy peace in my presence. And our scripture passages that go along with this devotional come from the book of Luke, chapter 12, verses 22 to 26. He said to his disciples, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat, or about your body, what you will wear. For life is more than food and the body more than clothing. Consider the ravens, they neither sow nor reap, they neither sto have storehouse or barn, and yet God feeds them. Of how much more value are you than the birds? And can any of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your lifespan? If then you who are not able to do so, such a small thing as that, why do you worry about the rest? And from Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 6, Be strong and courageous. Do not fear or be in dread of them, for it is the Lord your God who goes with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. And from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, excuse me, chapter 10, verse 5, we destroy arguments and every lofty opinion raised against the knowledge of God and take every thought captive to obey Christ. How easily my mind slips into worry, worrying about what Thanksgiving will look like and worrying about how will I celebrate Christmas this year, worrying about a vaccine for COVID-19 and will it be safe to take? When I stop and think of all the times I worry about the future, oh, and when I really think about it, most of what I fear of the future never really happens. Jesus reminds us that he will be there with us in the future and that his love and his light will carry us through whatever we're going to face. And Jesus tells us to keep our minds in the present moment because that is where peace is found right here, right now. We are the only creature 
in all of creation that worries about the future. The birds, the squirrels, our own pets. They don't worry about where their next meal will come from. They just simply eat what's before them right now. They don't worry about what tomorrow will bring. They live in the present. Jesus reminds us to be like the other creatures in creation and to trust in God's goodness and God's provision in the present moment and to trust that he will provide for us tomorrow and the next day and the next week and the next month and the next year. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, our ever present living God who dwells in our present and who promises to be in all our futures. We give you thanks and praise for your never-ending love and for the peace we are given when we understand that you will always be with us, even in our tomorrows. Amen. Until next time, stay safe, be well, and remember to stay in the present moment, basking in Jesus' love for you.